Welcome to the NHL Wraparound Podcast, featuring Neil Smith, President, General Manager of the 1994 Stanley Cup champion New York Rangers, and longtime ESPN NHL veteran Vic Morin. Together, they share no-nonsense opinions on news and issues around the National Hockey League. Whether you're a casual or diehard fan, each episode of NHL Wraparound will leave you more informed. Now, here's your hosts, Neil and Vic. Macklin Celebrini was the first overall pick at the recent NHL draft in Vegas, going to the San Jose Sharks, and perhaps at some point downwind, he will be like Alex Barkoff and Connor McDavid playing in Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Final, because Game 7 has a magic attached to it like nothing in sport. In order to prevail, teamwork is essential to achieving success. At the Game 7 group, transforming individuals into cohesive teams is the core philosophy in their team-building approach. Their belief is every team has potential to achieve extraordinary results. Game 7 Group offers various services to help teams accomplish their goals through specific team-building events, coaching, and speaking engagements. These services are aimed at improving team dynamics, productivity, and overall performance. Face it, we all want to be able to succeed in the big moment. Check out the Game 7 Group website at game7group.com slash NHL Wraparound to learn more. Right now, a special incentive offer awaits our podcast listeners. Take your team to the next step. The Game 7 Group will get you there. And Neil, as clubs welcome their draftees, what are these players to expect as coming from either junior or college or from Europe and into the NHL as they start their summers and as they head towards their first training camps? Well, quite often uh, the teams will have development camps uh, almost uh, immediately after the draft and within a, a week or so after the draft. And they'll bring uh, the young players in their organization into a uh, location and, and, you know, have on ice uh, evaluations and have off ice evaluations. And I would think at that time, that's when the players would get a nutritional program, uh, an exercise and uh, program uh, for cardiovascular and strength. Um, and I think they would just give them an indication of uh, what's to come and, and, and what the team expects out of them. And uh, when they come to training camp, if they come to training camp, because some will go back to college and not go to training camp, um, when they get tested, uh, you'll see some results uh, based upon how much hard work you did in the offseason. What's the biggest single acclimation for a draftee? And obviously, a player like Celebrini and Connor Bedard a year before, you know, they get all the headlines, but let's face it, not all players drafted. It's very, very few of them uh, had that sort of generational talent. So, for just the average draftee, what is the biggest acclimation for them? I think it's uh, going into adult life. Uh, you know, they've either been in junior in a billet, uh, probably with another player, maybe getting their meals cooked for them by a, a family. Um, and now all of a sudden, you know, you're in a hotel right at the beginning and you've got a huge amount of money given to you as your per diem to go out and you got to buy your own meals. And then once you you know, make it to pro, you've got to start to cook your own meals and uh, get around by yourself and realize that you got to buy toilet paper and Kleenex and <laughs> paper towels and all the rest that the ad adults knew how to buy. And, uh, you know, I think that's the biggest thing is, you know, yeah, you're making a lot of money, but you also got to be an adult now. And uh, with that comes adult things that aren't that much fun. Well, fast forward into 24-25. Neil, thanks again, and thanks to Migray and the Game 7 group, and, of course, our special guest today, Mike Santos. Thanks to our listeners. Send questions and comments to NHLWraparound at gmail.com. And don't forget our website, NHLWraparound.com. All of our episodes available both on audio and video platforms. And just a reminder... All summer, we will continue to do shows and we'll be 
obviously focusing on the year ahead and we'll have opinions on all 32 teams well in advance of training camp. So stay with us all summer long on NHL Wrap Up. Thanks for joining us on the NHL Wraparound Podcast. Don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on all the NHL action. 